Will you just calm down? You're just making me nervous acting like this. I am nervous. I don't understand how you can just sit there. Because getting worked up just makes it seem like we are waiting even longer. I know. I just think like, what will my mom think? What will happen from here on? Stop. Just relax. We got this far. That's a lot more than most people could do. Guess I never thought it would be like this. Okay. I can see why you're so worked up. But you have to see that if we don't do this, and someone else does... Hello? I'm not ready. Oh. Give us a moment, Mel. What's wrong, baby? You getting cold feet? Please, Tom, send him away. We can forget all about the letters. But the man came all this way. Do you love me? I'm trying to see if I should. Kiss me. That'll um, remove all that. I'm not ready to kiss you yet. It's probably because no kiss could burn those love letters out of your heart. There are no more windows to talk this through. Hello, Tom. No, there isn't, Lily. Open the door, then. Hello, Lily. You must be Tom. That I am. <laughs> Thank you for the telegram. It meant the world hearing that Lily wanted to see me. Oh, well, can I get you a drink now? Bourbon. That train from New Orleans can sure take its toll. Can it, Lily? Is she okay? Lily? Oh, she'll be all right. I'm sure she'll get over what's silencing her soon enough. I'll get over it once you pour me a glass of cognac. It's been far too long, Mel. My, oh my, Mel. You're looking fantastic. <laughs> you think? Why, yes. I'd say you look even better than you did before. You look great with some extra meat on your bones. Gee. <laughs> yeah, well, don't be too flattered now. Even spiders have to weave their webs from time to time. Tom, that's no way to talk to an old friend of mine. So, how has New Orleans been since I left? They all talk about you. It's like you took the Florida Lee out of New Orleans when you left. How have you been? I've been living for the moment. I've been working at Ms. Taylor's store. <laughs> I even heard she might pass it down to me soon. I always loved that little store. What have you been doing up here? Have you found another man? Why do you ask that? I always thought of Sweet and loyal girl like you deserved a man to give her the work. You always spoil me with compliments. Coward. Never spoiled. I'm sorry, Tom. Is this too intimate of a conversation? <laughs> By all means, be as intimate as you want. Those are such lovely flowers. <laughs> lovely lilies for lovely lily. They're beautiful. They remind me of the old days. Let's put them in water. Do you miss those old days? Yes. I think about them a lot. It was always melancholic Mel and lovely Lily running around the city getting in trouble with Miss Taylor. He'd steal some flowers and cold drinks and we'd rendezvous in some alleyway to listen to the old sax man play. We can go back. It can be lovely Lily and melancholic male all over again. There's reasons I can't go back with you. What are they? Lily, what are they? I'm married, Mel.
to him. Yes. What about the memories we shared? What about the cold drinks and the sex, man? What about the love letters? All hidden away. Held together by a thread. Oh, fuck up, Mel. Be happy you got any love letters. So I came all this way just for you to send me home broken hearted. Not even with a farewell kiss. <laughs> Goodbye, Lily. <laughs> I hope you're happy from here on. I hope he gives you all of your dreams. Because now I realize I never could. I never expected it to be like this. Me neither. Love you, baby. You don't realize just what I've done. I do. You need to show me how much you love me. I showed you how loyal I am. Just don't think that my heart will ever wander again. Never. Kiss me, baby. I'm not ready to kiss you yet.